You know what it's like when you're looking at a boring video. You tend to use the fast forward button. And that means that you can scan quickly through the tape looking for the bits that you want. Now, of course, it looks very odd. People's arms flap in and out like this, and their voice goes high and squeaky, and generally it sounds very weird, but you do see enough to make sense of what you're looking at, and when you get to the bit that you like, you can slow it all down again. Now, that works for video, but when you do it with audio, you get that squeaky problem. Everyone sounds like a chipmunk. You can't hear what's going on. You can see what's going on at double speed, but you can't hear. And that is where this device comes in. It looks like an ordinary tape recorder, but really, it's a voice compressor. And I've put something onto it for you to listen to. So let's give it a play. This is a recording that I've made of my own voice. I've just made it a moment or two ago. Now, I'm talking at a perfectly normal speed, and I'm talking with the handle of the machine set on one. It probably sounds fairly normal to you. But as I talk, I'm going to count from 1 to 20, and I'm going to slide the handle of the machine upwards until it's about on 2 or 2.5. Well, keep watching and listening. Here goes. Listen to the rate at which I'm saying the numbers and also the squeakiness of the voice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Listening to the voice at this speed is probably pretty hard to understand, so we'll slide that scale down again until we're sitting on about 2 or 1.5, and then it should be possible to understand what I'm saying. Now notice that although the voice is ripping through pretty fast, it hasn't gone squeaky like a chipmunk's voice, or a tape recorder sped up. It is going faster, but it hasn't gone higher. This is going at about 1.5 to 2 times normal speed, and it means that if you wanted to listen to an hour-long tape, you could put it onto this, and it would only take about half an hour to listen to. You'd save a lot of time, but you'd get all the information that was on the talk. Well, keep listening as I slide that scale down again. You'll find that you get used to fast speech very quickly indeed. And as the scale slides back again to naught, although I'm talking at normal speed, it sounds extraordinarily slow. In fact, it really sounds unbelievably ponderous. Well, ponderous or not, let's use ordinary speech to explain how the thing works. Really, what it does is to take your voice and slice it up and then only use every second or third slice. You see, when you record on one of these, if I can open it up, you're actually encoding your voice onto this magnetic tape. And that spools past a, a head which reads it off. And in fact, if I can uh, show you that with a bit of cardboard, let's imagine that's the magnetic tape. You put the word speech onto there. As it goes through at a constant speed, the recording head says speech, like that, speech. If we wanted to go faster, we make that tape rip through and it reads it off faster, but it pushes it up in pitch. You get speech, because we have to do it really at uh, twice the speed. Well, what you uh, do with the voice compressor is in fact to slice up not the tape, but the words, the spoken code. And so I've got another tape here with the sliced up word speech on there. Imagine that the compressor is doing this. It's taking every second slice of the word. Let's take that one, and that one, and that one, and although it's getting messy, that one, you can imagine if I push them all together, I'm going to get really quite a recognizable word. In fact, I've done that here. There we are. That's every second slice of the word speech. If I put it up against the original tape, you can see that it only occupies half the distance of the original word. So the tape can go at the same speed. That means it doesn't make the word squeaky, but it only takes half the time to get the word speech out. To be sure, the sliced and compressed word is a bit rough looking, but it's perfectly recognizable. And so it is with a speech compressor. The sound is a bit rough sounding, but it's quite recognizable.